So this is the brand new OnePlus 11. OnePlus just released it. It is the new flagship for 2023. And of course, whenever we compare against an iPhone, we really just need to look at one thing, and that's which phone has the better camera system. And it's 2023 and it's a flagship phone. So I guess long story short, they're both very, very good, but there are a few things, a few modes in which you can shoot in that are different than one another. And so it's worth touching on. And if you're kind of platform agnostic and you don't really care about Android or iOS, and you just wanna know which one has the best camera system, I'll let you know. And like I said, for day-to-day -day average shoots, it's gonna be very, very good, no matter which phone you pick, but they're, you know, video, there's a big difference leaning towards one phone or the other. Portrait mode, there's a pretty big difference leaning towards one phone or the other. But before we get into the camera comparison, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. After you've looked at the photos, let me know which one you think is best. Try to be as descriptive as you can. If you think the portrait mode has uh, better edge detection, or if the standard main camera has a better color profile that you prefer, or if you think the camera's sharper or more vibrant, let me know down in those comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos and hit that like button because that would be really nice of you and would definitely help me out. The first thing you really need to know about the brand new OnePlus 11 is that there is a new giant camera bump here, uh, and that houses three new cameras. And so you get a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor with a 115 degree field of view, and so you can capture a lot more in that, and a 32 megapixel telephoto lens. And this is also in collaboration with Hasselblad. Again, they've done this for a few different flagships now, um, and so it uses Hasselblad's color science. And in this phone particular for the telephoto lens, it will have a few uh, custom filters that was developed with Hasselblad to kind of mimic a 30 and 65 millimeter lens, I believe, um, that can kind of, they're called the masters filters. And we'll get into that in just a little bit, but it's, and so you kind of get those filters and color profiles and just shooting settings with this OnePlus 11. Um, the iPhone, for those of you who forget, has a 48 megapixel main camera sensor, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Uh, one thing to note in terms of telephoto for this camera is that it only goes up to 2x optical zoom, and this actually goes to 3x optical zoom with a 2x zoom that's more digital kind of cropping in on that main sensor. So let's just jump right into some camera samples and we'll start with the main sensor. And honestly, as I mentioned before, we have a 50 megapixel sensor and a 48 megapixel sensor uh, from one phone to the other. So not a huge difference there. And again, megapixels are not the end all be all, but uh, for normal daylight, you know, really good lighting photos, it's really hard to find a bad photo between the two. Um, as you'll see, if you, also if I'm looking off to over here, it's because this is where my computer is with the pictures and so I'll show you on screen what I'm looking at, but if you see my eyes go over here, that's what it's for. But anyways, uh, looking at this photo of the building here, um, really the only thing that I notice is the pavement is a little bit darker on the OnePlus 11. It's kind of crushing the shadows just a little bit. And again, this is not a bad photo. Neither one of these are bad. It's going to be a preference choice. And uh, I don't really have a preference between the two. I feel like there's a little bit more detail in the iPhone, but like I kind of like the way the yellow looks on the building, it's just a little bit darker. I think it was a little more iPhone 14 was the more of the natural way it looked in real life from what I recall. And so that building uh, photo, yeah, it just kind of takes the, the, the colors and it makes it a little bit darker and the shadows, it crushes it just a little bit. Um, when we get to the pictures here with the water, uh, same thing kind of going on. The water was a little greenish, bluish looking. I was also frozen, so, um, but here you can see on the iPhone, this is kind of what it looked like in real life. Um, with the building in the background being that brighter white color compared to the uh, OnePlus 11, where it kind of, again, kind of crushes the shadows. Um, and then in this particular photo, I don't like how dark green the water looks because that wasn't super natural. Uh, so this is an instance where it's, when it's bringing the shadows down a little too much, I don't particularly like it. Here's another picture taken from a pier. Again, the water is just a little bit darker on the OnePlus 11, but it actually doesn't look that bad. And I really don't have a preference either or on which one I think is better. Uh, I think that they're both pretty close to me. Um, and then here with this MacBook picture, 
Uh, I actually prefer the iPhone. I don't know why, but when it made it darker, it kind of took out a lot of the detail and the warmth that is that wood in the background. And so here I would prefer the iPhone. When it comes to the ultra wide camera, the same kind of goes for that. When it comes to like this water again here, the same picture earlier, but this is ultra wide, kind of does the same thing. The water is dark green, the pavement's darker, it's losing a little bit of detail, it's crushing the shadows. Again, if you were to look at these pictures kind of separately and one by one, I think you wouldn't really notice uh, anything when you first look at them. If you were just looking at it as a standalone picture, you'd think that's it's a good looking photo. When you put it side by side to other cameras, this is where the camera comparisons kind of help because then you can see, oh, I stylistically kind of like what the iPhone did here or vice versa with the OnePlus 11. Um, the selfie camera, I only took a couple of selfies. I'm probably only gonna show you one, but I actually really like the selfies on the OnePlus 11. And this is gonna be a little bit of a spoiler into the portrait modes, but it does do a skin smoothing effect. Most of you probably won't like that. Personally, my skin was a train wreck this day. And so I kind of did like that it took out some of the imperfections, um, but that's not primarily what I liked. I think it was a lot sharper of a photo overall. And then there was much more natural bokeh uh, background blur to say the least. Um, and this is not a portrait mode selfie photo. This is just a standard selfie. So the lens you can see here just because of that background blur proves that it's a much sharper lens compared to the iPhone. And again, the skin tone is the only imperfection here that I think is kind of bad for most people if they don't like it. The telephoto lenses are always kind of a train wreck. Uh, they shift dramatically in color profiles. The iPhone and OnePlus kind of does the same thing. They both shift, um, but it actually goes for the better with the OnePlus 11 because it doesn't darken or uh, change the colors too much. So again, we're back to this skyline where we can see the water. The building is a little bit darker, the water is a little bit darker, but it's not nearly as dramatic as the other two lenses. And I think it's a pretty sharp photo to the point where I would be comfortable saying that I like each of them just as much as one another and I really don't have a preference. So when it comes to portrait modes and specifically with the telephoto lens on the OnePlus, this is where it's using those Hasselblad uh, optical standards and it's designed primarily around simulations again of the Hasselblad 30 millimeter and 65 millimeter lenses, which in the photography world, those are really good lenses. Hasselblad's a really notorious system, uh, camera system in, as a whole that's really, really good, takes incredible pictures and that's not quite the case on the OnePlus 11, but I understand what they were going for. Uh, but when it comes to portrait modes, there's kind of two tales. There's portrait mode photos of objects and things that are not people, and then there are portrait mode photos of people. And on the OnePlus 11 with people, it's not great. On the iPhone 11 with people and with uh, objects, it's very much the same uh, you know, color profile, kind of picture, sharp, vibrancy, details, all of that. All of those buzzwords for photos are definitely reflected and consistent throughout the iPhone. With OnePlus, again, it's a tale of two different stories. I think the objects, uh, when it takes a picture of, say, this rabbit here, I think I like the picture on the OnePlus 11 a lot more. I think it's really good at background lighting. Yes, you want that blur, but you don't want it to darken that background so much that it just kind of becomes muddied out, darker shadows, and just kind of, it's not a good look. And so it does a really good job with background lighting, and it does a really good job with natural blur. And again, you can adjust the blur. You can um, go into the settings before you take the picture and adjust which one, uh, which f-stop you want it to be at. So if you want really dramatic bokeh or really just a little bit, um, you can do that, or you can just leave it to auto, which is what I did. And I think it did a really good job with this picture of this rabbit statue. And I prefer the color, the detail, the sharpness of the OnePlus 11. And that kind of goes the same for the picture of the sign and for other, uh, you know, the plant. I really like the picture of this plant. It, for some reason on the iPhone, it made the plant darker. It was not this dark. Uh, it, this is a fake plant, by the way, and it wasn't this green um, in the image. Actually, is it a fake plant? I think it's a fake plant. I don't recall. I was at a coffee shop and I thought it was a fake plant, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm not totally sure. Regardless, it was not this dark green. It was much more natural looking on the OnePlus 11. This is what it looked like in real life. Um, and it did a really good job with background blur. And again, the lighting, you can still see the vibrancy. Uh, this one kind of changes the color temperature a little bit on the iPhone. Uh, and so just kind of remembering back to what it was, edge detection is near flawless on both phones, but I really, think that the OnePlus 11 is the perfect picture here, in my opinion, just based on all of the details and what you would look at for a, uh, for a photo. The OnePlus 11 does a good job. But when you go to 
uh, let's go over to the pictures of my dog and of my son. Uh, my son specifically, it's doing the skin smoothing thing again and it's softening the face. I think it's a really good photo in terms of lighting. It's again, the background lighting is excellent. Uh, the subject is really well lit, but it's not natural. It's it's doing some kind of AI processing and it's it's making him not look, he does not look that, you know, his lips were not that pink, his face is not that pale. Um, and there is a shadow from just natural lighting and it looks exactly how it did on the iPhone. That is a natural photo and it's a really good photo. Same thing with the dog here. The color temperature really shifted in this one. Uh, the carpet color is perfectly matched on the iPhone 14 Pro Max uh, and same with her box. It's kind of weird. It's a really good looking image in terms of her color on the OnePlus 11, but then it took that warmth and it carried it over to the carpet and it took that warm lighting that was shining down and it carried it over to the carpet and it's not that brown. The carpet is a dark gray. And so it's kind of a mixture of two photos here. Uh, I think her tone is much more in line on the OnePlus 11, but the rest of the photo's color is more accurate on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And so uh, I don't really know if it's smoothing out the skin. It kind of looks like it is even with a dog on the OnePlus 11. And so again, everything that I just said kind of comes back to I don't really prefer it on animals and people, but it's perfectly fine on other objects uh, for portrait mode. And then, of course, uh, when it comes to video, the iPhone will pretty much always win for now. Uh, the iPhone is still better at taking video. Even though this OnePlus can take 8K video at 30 frames per second, and this is what that looks like right here, and it looks really good. I actually looked at it on my 8K screen, and it does look really, really good, but I mean, I don't know if it's worth the average consumer taking a bunch of 8K video when you most likely couldn't consume that content on an 8K display. Uh, I guess you could use that ability to crop in for 4K if you're editing and whatever, but I would just stick with the 4K video and at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second is what you can use 4K with. And I just don't think it's nearly as good as the iPhone. Nothing really is. Again, we'll test the S23 Ultra, but when it comes to video, it's okay. The stabilization is okay. Um, it's, it's good in comparison, I guess, but it's not the iPhone. The iPhone still wins when it comes to video. And overall, I think that's kind of the theme for most cameras out there, but uh, I preferred this OnePlus 11 in a lot of photos, uh, but for the most part, portrait mode was just not it for me. I think the iPhone kind of won there, but the rest of the photos are pretty good in comparison and are honestly just as good as one another. And so if you're looking at picking up one of these phones, uh, let me know in the comments down below which one you liked and which one you preferred. Uh, but again, if you're thinking about one or the other, let me know. I would love to know which one you would pick. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.